Good afternoon, students. Nowadays, the stochastic process are becoming very important. It has wide variety of application in everything. There are lots of reference books are available on stochastic process. Before we actually start with our syllabus, we will see some first concepts. Experiment. What is in the experiment? Experiment means just a conducting a test or investigation. There are number of outcomes of experiment. So based on number of outcomes, there are two types of experiment. Deterministic experiment and indeterministic experiment. What is mean by deterministic experiment? If outcome is certain, unique and predictable. For example, if I throw a ball in the sky, definitely it will fall down. So, before performing the experiment, we can predict the outcome. Now, in deterministic experiment, if outcome is not unique, uncertain and unpredictable, it is called as indeterministic experiment. For example, if I toss a coin, outcome is head or tail, showing the tag, outcome is 1 to up to 6. In deterministic experiment, it deals with randomness, so it is also called as random experiment. How many number of calls you will get in whole day? How many number of customers will visit the supermarket? In all these examples, we cannot predict the outcome. So it is called as indeterministic experiment. Now stochastic. The stochastic is a Greek word which means random or chance. Stochastic models involve uncertainty or randomness or the stochastic model represents a situation when uncertainty is present. It plays significant role in all the fields like stock market, exchange rate, engineering field, medical fields. In medical fields, what are the examples of randomness? Body temperature, ECG, patient BP, all our examples are dealt with randomness. Similarly, in case of engineering field, it plays a significant role. It applies in automotive technology, manufacturing system, communication technology, robotics and etc. So, stochastic process are becoming very important now. State space. What is mean by state space? A simple definition is here. The collection of outcomes of stochastic process. So what is stochastic process? Stochastic process are process that proceed randomly in time. Second, the stochastic process is a collection of random variable xt. If t is continuous, the stochastic process is denoted by xt. Where no, t greater than or is equal to 0. If the stochastic process is discrete, it is denoted by xn, where n is from 0, 1 to up to so on. Third definition, the stochastic process is a family of time index random variable xt, where t belongs to an index set. Again, so based on range of index set, there are two types. If index set is minus infinity to infinity, it is called as continuous time stochastic process. If index set is negative, zero and positive, it is called as discrete state, discrete st time stochastic process. So these are the three definitions. You can any de uh, refer you can refer any definition. Now next. These are some examples of stochastic process in real life situation. The water level of dam at time t, the BP of patient at time t, the price of shares, the number of components working in a system of any component, the state of machine, the stock price of the company, etc. The style, types of stochastic process, there are various types like Marco process, renewal process, Brownian motion process, work and date process and so on. Now state space. What is the state space? 
we already saw a set of all possible value of stochastic process. Now based on range of state space, again there are two types. If it contains finite point, means if state space contains finite point, it is called as discrete state space. Otherwise it is called as continuous state space. The discrete parameter family is called stochastic process. While continuous parameter family is called as stochastic Sorry, discrete parameter family is called as stochastic sequence while continuous parameter family is called as stochastic process. So, we divide stochastic in two words, stochastic sequence and stochastic process. Again, there are different types of stochastic process according to the state space. Means according to the state space, we give different names to the stochastic process. If range of state space is minus infinity to infinity, in that case it is called as random sequence. If state space is natural number, then stochastic process is integer value stochastic process. If state space is just a real line, in that case it is called as continuous state space or real value stochastic process. If state space is n dimensional, is called as n dimensional stochastic process or n vector space. Now, next state transition. So, what is in the state transition? The state at time t it is denoted by simple xt, and the state at time t plus 1 it is denoted by xt plus 1. So, moving from state xt to xt plus 1 it is called as state transition. Markov property. Suppose I have a three situation future, present, and past. If my future depends only on present and independent of all remaining past, this is simply called as Markov property. So, see here is the definition let xt be a stochastic process, where t is the present state, t plus 1, t plus 2, and so on. Future state, t minus 1, t minus 2, all are past states. So, xt is said to satisfy Markov property if conditional probability of future state given the present state and is independent of the past state. So, simple remain, uh, remain this statement future state depends only on present and independent of the past state. It is called as Markov property. Next, Markov chain. The stochastic process follows the Markov property. It, it is called as Markov chain. The stochastic process xt where t is said to be Markov chain if t the condition of probability of xn plus 1 xn plus 1 stand for future state xn present xn minus 1 xn minus 2 up to x not all are past state. You can denote the future state using xn also. If you denote future state using xn then denote present state by x10 minus 1 and past by x10 minus 2, x10 minus 3 up to x naught. So here is the answer the probability of future state given the present state, past state is equal to what? The conditional probability of future state given the present state which is independent of the all past state. So conditional probability of xn plus 1 given x10 is simply denoted by t and g. Now, next transition probability. We just saw PIJ. PIJ is called as transition probability. Where PIJ is the function of present state I, future state J, and time point N. It's called as one step transition probability. Next, the time homogeneous Markov chain. So, what is time homogeneous Markov chain? If transition are independent of the time, that is the Markov chain is said to be time homogeneous if transition probability from state 1 to another state are independent of the time. It is called as simply time homogeneous Markov chain. Now next, one step transition probability matrix. So, what are the properties of one-step transition probability matrix? If 
C is a square matrix. So what is square matrix? N by N matrix, 2 by 2, 3 by 3, 4 by 4 and so on. All are called as square matrix. Next, if P is a stochastic matrix, if rho wise term is 1, it is called as stochastic matrix. And third, if P is W stochastic matrix, this is called row wise plus column wise. Both sum is 1, it is called as W stochastic matrix. So these are the properties of positive transition probability matrix. If Pij raised to 1, it is called as one step transition probability matrix. And what is Pij? So that is probability of Xn n plus 1 is equal to i given Xn is equal to Xn plus 1 is equal to j given Xn is equal to i is equal to Pij. If here Pij raised to 1, it is called as one step transition probability matrix. Now, here is the how to how we represent that one step transition probability here is the format is given let me ignore the matrix of one step transition probability so prj so that now what is p0 0 that is probability of transition from step 0 to 0 p01 the probability of transition from step 0 to 1 p10 probability of transition from step 1 to 0 now, highest of transition probability matrix. Now, what is two step transition probability matrix? The probability of transition from state 1 to state 2 or to another state in two states. If I refer two states, it is called as two step transition probability matrix. In notation, is probability of xn plus 2 is equal to j given xn is equal to i, which is equal to pi raised to 2. That is p raised to 2. Three step transition probability matrix, the probability of transition from one step to another step in three steps. If I require three steps, it is called as three step transition probability matrix. That is probability of xn plus 3 is equal to j, given xn is equal to i, which is equal to pi raised to 3. That is p raised to 3. And m step transition probability, if I require m step from transition. So one from step one to step two. If I require total totally m steps, it is called as m step transition probability matrix. And notation is probability of x n plus n is equal to j given x n is equal to i, which is equal to p i j raised to m. Now one note is given that is p i j raised to m is not same as p i j. Whole bracket raised to m. There is lot of difference between these two notations. Now see here, the two-step transition probability matrix is also written as the square of one-step transition probability matrix. So here is the notation. P raised to 2 is what? P raised to bracketed 1 into P raised to bracketed 1. Similarly, P raised to bracketed 3 is what? P raised to bracketed 2 into P raised to bracketed 1 and so on. P raised to bracketed n plus 1 is equal to P raised to bracketed n into P raised to bracketed 1. So you can use this notation to find P raised to any value, P raised to 3, P raised to 4 and so on. So P raised, so n plus n step TPM is what? It is m step TPM into n step TPM that is P raised to n plus 1, m plus n is equal to P raised to n into P raised to N. Now show that the p raised to bracketed n is equal to p raised to n. We prove this using chapman kolmogorov equation. So first divide n into n minus 1, 1. So if we add this power, answer is what? Again p raised to n. Again divide n minus 1 into n minus 2, p raised to 1, p raised to 1. Again we divide n minus 1 into n minus 3 into p into p into p and if we continue this procedure so last one is what n minus 1. We start with what n minus 1, n minus 2, n minus 3 up to so on n minus n. 
Um, what is the answer of n minus n? That is 0. So p raised to bracket is 0 into p raised to simple n. p raised to bracket is 0, 1 into p raised to n. So answer is what? p raised to bracket n is equal to p raised to n. You can prove this uh, theorem also using induction theorem. Okay? Now initial distribution. Suppose Xn is a Markov chain with a state space S, where S is what? S1, S2 up to so on. The probability distribution of X0 is called as initial distribution. So probability distribution of what? X0 is it is called as initial distribution. So notation is probability of X0 is equal to Si is equal to alpha i, where i is from 1 to up to m. So probability of, now we put value of i. The first one is what probability of x0 is equal to x1 is equal to alpha 1. Probability of x0 is equal to x2 is equal to alpha 2 and so on. Probability of x0 is equal to xn is equal to alpha m. Now see here alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha m all are initial distributions. Now here all alpha i should be greater than or equal to 0 and summation of this alpha i should be 1. So initial distribution is alpha raised to 0 which is equal to alpha 1 raised to 0, alpha 2 raised to 0 up to alpha m raised to 0. So probability distribution of xn is equal to alpha raised to n. So which in bracket is written as alpha 1 raised to bracket n, alpha 2 raised to bracket n and so on, alpha m raised to bracket n. And you can also denote by notation alpha 1 raised to 0, alpha 2 raised to 0, up to alpha m raised to 0, into p raised to n. Now next, write one step PPM of the Markov chain with the following graph. Sometimes graph is given by using the graph, we have to write PPM. Now see, 0, 1 and 2, it is represented in a circle, so 0, 1, 2, all our state. Now, upper arrow, it is denoted by what? Transition from state 0 to 1, 1 to 2. Down, uh, downward arrow, it is denoted by, uh, it is denoted for uh, transition from state in the stand, transition from state in the reverse order. That is 2 to 1, 1 to 0. And whatever arrow denoted by anti clockwise. That is 0 to 0, 1 to 1, 2 to 2. All are what? Probability of transition from state 0 to 0, 1 to 1, 2 to 2. So see here, the upper arrow from 0 to 1, that is 1 by 4. So that is the probability of transition from state 0 to 1. Again, uh, 1 to 2, again that probability is same, that is 1 by 4. So see, how we represent that matrix. So P is equals to the P notation for one step transition probability matrix. So here are the three states 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2. So see from 0 to 0 it is 3 by 4, 1 to 1, 1 by 2, 2 to 2, 1 by 4, 0 to 1, 1 by 4, 0 to 2, 0, 1 to 0, 1 by 4, 2 to 1, 1 by 4. Four. Okay. Thank you.